Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to some more F1 League Racing action here today for the Hungarian Grand Prix in the Apex Online Racing League. The previous race guys at Silverstone, my home race, will be linked up in the top right hand corner. It's the race you can see in the background right now and uh, there was some controversy in that race so go check it out and let me know what you think. But today we are here at Hungary and uh, hopefully we can try and extend our championship lead. Now I've got to be honest, heading into this race I didn't do much practice. Um, I was busy that day and I didn't have time to practice for the event so I went into it with literally about five or six laps of time trial practice and um, the actual setup I did use in the in the event I hadn't tested yet so I kind of went in a bit blind so it's going to be an interesting one. So guys if you're going to enjoy today's episode snap a like on it let's try and hit 600 likes guys for today's episode and subscribe for more content like this and let's get today's race on the way. So we jump into qualifying first and foremost and real quick I want to address this early on um, there's no game sound again I think I found the reason why and I'm going to test it this weekend but I do believe I've got to the bottom of the issue so for now you're going to kind of hear me in the background from time to time but the actual engine sound issues I have now got on top of so nonetheless we move into qualifying and uh, my first lap was not great and you saw I actually invalidated so uh, we went for a second attempt but I had a delta to aim for and you can see it already here nearly half a second up on this second lap and the pace was looking pretty strong as we head through the final corner okay, we're going to open up the exit there and run up to the line and we set a pretty strong lap actually and go P5 with what I think is a 13.1 from what I can tell on my little preview screen so a decent lap there and uh, we move on to my third attempt and in this one I was actually purple through the second sector I lost a bit of time through the first and uh, found a bit more time as well through the final sector so we move up into the top four and uh, we just about miss out on a 112 as we set a 13-0 and now we're going to move on to my best lap of the session the sector where I knew there was lap time to find was sector one but I'd yet to hit it right so it's all or nothing on this lap so let's see how it goes as we go for a lap of Hungary so at the final corner down towards turn one I knew there was a lot of time to find here and uh, we're going to break just before the 50 meter board down to second really aggressive attack in the apex and we get great drive out of the corner finding traction really really early and we're two tenths up already which is incredible down towards turn two keeping it nice and tight trying to get the power really really early there running the car super wide and we make it work and we found even more time as we blitz the first sector is an absolute stonker and we're way quicker than anybody else we then make our way into sector two a little bit wide through there but we get some good drive on the exit and we're now three tenths up as we head into the chicane throwing the car in short shift up to fourth trying to get the drive and uh, we now throw the car into these lefts and rights towards the end of the second sector all about momentum and making sure that the car feels good through here and then down one gear for the last of the corners in the second sector and look at this three and a half tenths up we are on an absolute flyer and now just one sector to go and we're still pushing here as we now enter the penultimate corner keeping it nice and tight and then trying to focus on your exit and then making our way into the final corner and you'll hear my reaction now as we exit this corner here oh no mistake no i'm out of ERS. shit oh wow i still made it Whew. mate and that was an incredible lap and we dropped about two tenths in the final corner as well because we had that bit of oversteer out of the plasma corner we had a bit more into the final corner and then also i ran out of vrs running up to the line so all those factors actually cost me at least minimum a tenth and a half so uh, there was definitely more lap time on the table but even then that was enough to secure pole position but i want to talk about the gaps i mean look at that the top six covered by less than a tenth do you know how close that is it's probably the closest qualifying of the season and it will be the closest one of the season i think that's absolutely ridiculous and it goes to show i could have actually gone a tenth and a half quicker maybe even two tenths so a point six was definitely on on the cards for sure and uh, my teammate florian actually he was in a really good lap as well but he invalidated had he nailed his lap which he was on he would have joined me on the front row so it could have been a one two for us and possibly both of us in the point sixes but in the end um, it's not going to be that way even then though it's pole position for us and with no practice I'm really happy with that that was an absolute stonker and one of my best qualifying laps of the season if you exclude the final corner so yeah happy days really really good lap and with that said we're now going to move into the race here we are then at the end of the formation lap just making sure we're ready to 
have a good start and of course in these races now we do get the free tyre choice for everybody at the start of the race. It's a brand new lobby so tyre wear doesn't carry over just like F1 Esports. So we're going to start on the medium compound tyres whereas most people are going to start on the hard. So we're going to see how this strategy split goes. Five red lights are on and away we go. It's a really nice clean start from us. We get away beautifully as you can see there just dropping everyone as uh, Paris is going to be under pressure from a few other cars around him including uh, Padlo Futez who is Norbert Jacob um, by name in game. So uh, yeah those guys battling away and you can see we've already got a big gap as we just put the way out front now this is where the lack of practice came into effect so i really wish obviously i had more time to practice because if i practiced this i could have been really strong in this first phase of the race which was kind of my downfall um i wasn't particularly competitive you can see that i got a warning for track limits already and um it wasn't great you know having that early on because it kind of knocks your confidence even though i was strong in qualifying you know race fuel with medium tires is a different story so yeah it took me a while to get going luckily the start was good we kept it clean and we've already got a 1.1 second gap over paris so we're out of drs range already and um, that was really really important to establish that early on we then cut onto lap two onto the start of lap three and we are going to set a new fastest lap they go to paris though it's only gone up to 1.5 seconds 1.4 seconds right, so i've only gained two tenths in about two laps which is not enough you know we need to be making the most of this tire and um, those two laps were kind of wasted in a way i didn't really push that much uh, we then head on to the end of lap three and again the gap is still 1.3 1.4 seconds as we get a second warning for track limits and again my lack of practice was really showing here but eventually now onto lap four this is when things start to turn a little bit. So I started to find some pace on this lap. We set a purple middle sector and uh, we go pretty strongly to be fair. 10th off my personal best. And this was the first of many laps where I was in the zone and I started to find my rhythm. And you can see the gap to Paris just going up every single lap now. And um, now we were starting to go fast, but I kind of hate that fact that I threw away the first four laps. That was a bit of a shame uh, because I could have made a lot more progress. But then again, that's what happens when you don't practice. So as you can see, the gap is still going up over three seconds now on lap 13. And I'm going to try and extend this stint as long as possible because these tires are very strong and they last a long time. So you can see now lap 16, I am going to pit for the hard compound tires. I would have stayed out a bit longer, but my teammate wanted to pit on the next lap. So again, to avoid stacking, um, I'm going to pit this up and get out of the way. The gap to Paris was about four seconds. So that's the gap we've got to work with. Now the target is to hopefully pit for the hards, get some clean air and try and undercut Paris and get even more of a lead because he's going to be on mediums at the end and he's going to be a lot quicker than me. So it's really important we hit the ground running straight away on these tyres and uh, we're really competitive. So as you can see, we're going to rejoin in P6 just behind, it's going to be Brownie and uh, Jan Fehler. So not ideal. I was hoping for a bit of clean air, but we're not going to get that. So... Yeah, just got to try and get on with it anyways. And uh, we've got uh, Padlo Futez and Scrippy in the pits behind us. So we now cut onto the end of lap 17 and Florian, my teammate, pits as expected and as we planned. And I'm now behind Brownie and I've got to try and get past him as soon as possible. We've got a few other cars in the pit lane as well. And uh, Fader, I believe, pits with uh, Florian. But crucially, Paris still stays out in the lead in the Red Bull. So... I'm hoping to make some progress, but to be fair, this lap wasn't great. Um, neither was the outlap. I was struggling to get these tires up to temperature and into the working window. Eventually, though, we got there and we see our new fastest lap. And you can see Paris in the pit lane now as we're going to attack Brownie here. Go to the outside into turn one. We're going to swoop around, running it a bit hot on the brakes, but we get some great drive out of there and we make the move and uh, jump the Williams, uh, sorry, the Renault. So, uh, yeah, we're ahead and back into the lead of the race now. So, that's good for us. Also worth noting, uh, Pablo Futez has actually undercut Paris, um, or Norbert Jacob. He's undercut Paris. So um, that's good news for us in terms of it's going to just, you know, slow down Paris's progress a little bit. Although, to be fair, it only lasted about a lap because just a few corners later, uh, you'll see in the top left now, Paris actually uh, got past Pablo Futez, who has a three-second time penalty. So, yeah, at this point, it was game on. Um, Brandy's going to pit any minute now. So it's me versus Paris for the race win. And I've just got to try and go as fast as I can. Now, lap 21, we set a personal best. And I actually went on a really good run here of uh, laps. You can see Paris is much, much quicker than me, nearly eight tenths quicker on that lap. And I was on my, I was on the limit. You know, I, we, we can't end the lap 21. 
and I'm on for another personal best and I'm trying to go as fast as possible but Paris is just taking chunks out of my time you know I think I did four or five personal bests in a row and it still wasn't really enough and eventually we cut into lap 20, 25 still only two tenths off my personal best trying to keep that pace up on these tires but it was inevitable Paris was much quicker and the mediums were working well for him you can see now he's just over a second behind me and I'm trying my hardest to keep him out of the RS range but then Penalty. Yeah, unfortunately, I got a penalty. You heard me say in the background. And uh, yeah, a bit of a shame, really, because I did so well from lap four to lap 26 to not get another warning. You know, I really hit my rhythm. But unfortunately, we got a three second time penalty. And again, had I practiced, that wouldn't be an issue. But lack of practice means you're going to make those kind of mistakes. And eventually, now we managed to hold on ahead of Paris until lap 30 but now lap 30 here he comes he's making the run and he's going to try and go to the outside here on the braking we're going to try and fight him as we go side by side we get the drive out of there but so does Paris on those mediums side by side still down towards turn number two we're going to try and hang this one around the outside we're hanging in there on these tires and we're going to get the inside line and get squeezed onto the grass twice but we have to give up and uh, let Paris take it again my hope was to distract him enough that maybe he'd get a three second time penalty but he wasn't having it and I don't know how many warnings Paris had but he didn't get a penalty so yeah unfortunately I tried my best but I wasn't able to keep him behind having said that I had good pace we set a personal best on up 32 and I was keeping up with him you know with the DRS it was quite easy to just hang on to the back of him and uh, you know maintain pace at this point his mediums were starting to fade a little bit and also you can see his light flashing um, he was running out of ERS so Everyone was running quite low on everything at this point. And uh, lap 34 onto the final lap of the Grand Prix here. I'm going to have one last crack at this to see if I can get back ahead and uh, reclaim top spot here. Down towards turn one, I thought about the dive, but in the end, I actually um, decided to go for the cutback and get the better drive out of there. So we head down towards turn two. Look at the momentum here. I'm going to try and go down the inside on the brakes, but it's so tight. Paris turns in just about, and I managed to get the car slowed down and avoid running into the side of him there so uh, yeah we tried it that was my last attempt but unfortunately I wasn't able to get by and Paris didn't have a penalty so in the end it would have meant nothing but it was my you know my attempt at trying to distract him and give him a penalty so in the end we finished P3 and you know what I'll take that that wasn't too bad a pretty decent race for us and again considering there was no practice um, a good haul of points and on the podium again so I'm happy with that. We look at the final race results, though. Paris picks up the win. We finish in second place ahead of Pablo Futez. Josh P4 ahead of Brownie. Krasnick in sixth place ahead of Scrippy. My teammate FK Florian Napik in eighth ahead of Warren. And then Failer rounds out the top ten. So we score a couple points less than Red Bull because Paris won the race. So in the constructors, that's not going to be good news for us. And Donato misses out on the points as he got disconnected. And uh, Warren also got the fastest lap there for Red Bull. So, yeah, there's your top ten. And... Um, yeah, not too bad. I, I could have won that race on another day had I done more practice. And I think maybe starting the hard tile was the way to go. We look at the championship though, and we still lead the way by 19 points over Paris. And then there's a gap of 42 points back to Brownie. So suddenly it's become a bit of a two horse race in the drivers' championship. And it has been clear for a while Paris is probably my main rival. So we're going to have to work to try and keep him behind and maintain that points gap because I've let a few points slip away in the last couple of races. So I'm going to make sure. That doesn't happen anymore. So uh, the next race at Spa, I'm going to try and be on the money and uh, try and be quick. Elsewhere, my teammate Florian in 14th place currently with uh, 15 points to his name. And um, of course, if we take that into account and factor that all in, in terms of the constructors, we lose the lead. And I believe for the first time this season, that's Red Bull take top spot with Warren and Paris. So we need to work harder and do better. Um, and I need to do, you know, much more consistent work myself in races I've let slip a little bit this race and also Silverstone where I finished P5 so uh, yeah we're gonna have to try and improve in the next one but guys that is going to be it from me here today for this race and this episode if you guys enjoyed it slap a like on it subscribe for more let's try and hit 600 likes guys on this video and uh, let me know if you want to see more content like this I've got something special lined up over Christmas and I'm looking forward to it so stay tuned for that and finally check out the two videos on your screen but guys that's it from me and I'll see you all next time